Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Indeed, I support this bill. As majority leader, minority leader has said after the 2010 constitution, the former mayors could have been compensated. But nevertheless, this bill, since it was started by Treasury, and again there's Lafan and Lab Trust, Lafan is a state corporation. And Lab Trust is a private. So we are going to harmonize all and manage all the retirement benefits. Ms. <coughs> Madam Speaker, as I speak, I would finally say I humbly appeal to honorable members to uphold at all times provision of chapter 6 of our constitution and in addition our honorable members we are guided by our standing orders powers privileges laws in handling matters that we do not have facts and evidence this is both in plenary chamber and in committee. For the last two weeks, the National Assembly has been handling very weighty matters on sugar, sugar issue. The persons who have been mentioned, either because of evidence adduced before committee or mentioned, adversely without a nota of evidence. Special ma mention for this matter is Muho Kenyatta. They may be other Kenyans who are mentioned and they don't have any privilege. Honorable members, it is against our rules and practice and convention to mention persons without substantive evidence because it means allegation without substantive evidence, facts, and so on, just but to mention a few. Finally, it is, this is why I'm humbling to you, honorable members, and I'm indeed requesting you that, that that we desist during dragging in other persons into, de into <coughs> debates without facts Honorable and... Chep Kut. Honorable Chepkut, uh, just to get you clearly. Are we on the same page? <laughs> Are we on order number 13 with you? Honorable Chepkut. Please come out clear. And, and it seems like your, your mic is coughing. And so, <laughs> Madam, Madam Speaker, because we were talking about finances and the bill of pension, I thought it twice that accountability is the basis of any meaningful achievement in our country. Then I thought of defending somebody who doesn't have any privileges who has been mentioned and the people who are mentioning they don't have facts and the person who has been mentioned is not he cannot come in into the into parliament to defend himself madam speaker so how is it related to the county government's retirement? i've said 
have said that because we were talking about finance, then I thought of uh, bringing Article 100, uh, Chapter 6 of our Constitution, uh, Standing Order 87 and 91, that so, we so desist. You, so you're contributing to the of course. Order 13? Yeah. Okay, then be on, be on it. Ah, yeah. And be relevant. <laughs> Madam Speaker. You're losing us. Very good. Thank you. I comply, Madam Speaker. Since I'm a law-abiding citizen, <laughs> since I'm a law-abiding citizen, I won't laugh fun. Uh, and I want us to move with speed to approve this bill so that those who are not in <coughs> uh, lab trust and those who are in lab uh, private institution because of mismanagement of our own resources, they can join lab fund. That is <clears throat> what I am really encouraging. So with those few remarks, Madam Speaker, I only appeal to honorable members to desist from talking matters that they don't have evidence. Thank you. <laughs> I think you've gotten away with the... I don't want to say, uh, being a bit sneaky, honorable Chepkut.